Okay, I done this once, but the damn camera didn't record it. Um, so now I'm going to do a reverse transformation with these two. But first I'll show you Brawl. Um, something the instructions didn't show. You can move his tread back and it shows his legs more. That's where they're normally like this. You can have them like that. But be careful. This, they do get stuck. And sometimes they'll get stuck. So you're either better off leaving them how, up like this. Because it took me probably 20 minutes to get this part where to fold up and fold back on one on this side uh, I recommend getting brawl uh, nice posability I'm gonna go ahead and transform him now since I'm just basically telling my opinion whether you should get him or not because there's a plenty of reviews out there on these figures. Uh, reverse automorph here. Uh, problem is, these panels here do not lock in. They just basically sit there. On mine anyway, they don't lock in. And then the arms. Uh, Brawl is kind of in between recommended and not recommended. Well, kind of recommended and not recommended. He's in between my opinion he's worth getting if but I I can overlook the flaws with it with the loose with these not locking in place and this uh, you can lock it down let me do that real quick but then you can't turn it but if you got it unlocked you can turn it because you see here when you push it down it pushes these apart it pushes the tracks apart and this black part here catches on the notch here and won't let it turn if you push that down like it's supposed to be uh, recommended in my opinion, he's Brawl has recommended the deluxe figure, but he's also kind of not recommended because of the flaws. But I recommend him if you can overlook those flaws. RC, uh, there were complaints about her going to be in the movie, and then whenever she wasn't in the movie, they complained that she wasn't in the movie. Uh, recommended figure uh, I don't care for head design now if it was painted like the box art yeah it'd be alright um, the peg that holds your head on the ball joint there is kinda thin so you gotta watch it uh, two places she can hold her weapon and that hole there and on this peg here um I've got the muffler put up for the motorcycle mode uh, I'm not gonna get it out uh, she's also a figure I'm going to repaint for my Transformers universe because she doesn't have a registered vehicle like Ironhide and Jazz 
Um, uh, I just got this figure not too long ago, so bear with me here <laughs> on the transformation. Um, I didn't even transform her using the instructions. Uh, not recommended if uh, you're a beginner at Transformers. Uh, hardest part about her is getting these wheel, her back wheel lined up where that splits apart. Uh, because you got to line up the wheels and then you've got pegs uh, yeah you got pegs right there that have got to be lined up if I can get it to line up uh, okay now there we go it's about time Yes, her transformation is kind of similar to Energon RC, but it's more, it's complicated more, because everything has to go so-so, or it doesn't look good at all. Uh, she's got visible hand syndrome and motorcycle mode. Uh... You have to do this, get her weapon on there just right. Um, she can tell the gas, the seat locks down there, and then oop, the seat locks down there. So you kind of basically have to. watch how you do that recommended you go by the instructions if you're not sure about how to get that back into vehicle mode um, I pay close attention whenever I transform them from vehicle to robot mode uh, whenever I buy a figure and don't go by the instructions um, I recommend getting RC uh, good looking figure uh, I'm trying to adjust my camera here. Um, good articulation. Uh, looks better than the Energon RT. Uh, she will be repainted. Like I said, I'm not going to tell who. <sighs> I'm going to paint them after or what I'm going to paint them to look like but I do know after I get him painted I'm going to glue that guard on there because uh, he just fell off the shelf and now I'm going to have to uh, go parts diving uh, see if I can find it somewhere around here so that's going to get glued on after I get him painted Uh, like I said, kind of recommended. Just for the fact that he is made, that these parts here, uh, these parts here, I worry about breaking. Uh, cheap plastic for his panels here. If you have him, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, RC recommended, Brawl recommended, but then again, not, then again, kind of not recommended. Depends on if you can overlook the flaws. Jazz is recommended, Wreckage is recommended. Entry mode, Optimus and Starscream recommended. 
Bone Crusher, recommended. Fast Action Battlers Optimus Prime, kind of recommended. And Payload, kind of recommended. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, there's enough reviews out there that I don't really need to review any of these figures. I'm just giving my opinions on whether you should get them or not, or recommend it or not, actually. So, thanks for watching.